Oh wait, we got to introduce ourselves again. That's the cutest part. This is how we make ourselves endearing. Oh boy. <laughs> okay, okay. Hey, Ellie. You gotta turn me out with us. Oh, what? I don't know. Welcome back to match three. This is... Old Lady Pool. And Old Man Pool. And our cat. Meow for us. Meow. <laughs> yeah, that's close. <laughs> All right, um, oh, I didn't say hello. All right, we won the dice roll, we're going first. Uh, okay, I think sounds okay. Chris Mantar, Cartouche, Razakets right. Right up to Sandworld Convergence. I know, Three Home Dream is dead. That is tragic. Who could have expected that we would have lost in such a sad, tragic manner? Ugh, ugh. Death by Overwhelming Splendor and Gideon. What is that? I know, like, it's not even giant worms, it just makes everything little and sad. Fortunately, my opponent's not doing anything. I like it when my opponent doesn't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> my opponent cycles the Titans. Looks like he's black-red. That generally swings aggressive. Ooh, Ketra's Monument. Okay. I kind of want to use the Cartouche to just pick off a 1-1. One -one. Especially because this might still die to like take aim or something. Or open fire and take aim. Let's just swing here. We don't get to use our lands effectively, which is a little unfortunate. But we're actually really close to getting Sandworm on time. So that might just be enough. Cool. That's the dream, <laughs> right? <laughs> That's the only way. That's true. And black red doesn't do anything nasty to Sandworm conversions. Not like blue does. So. Freaking blue. Come on, meow for us, cat. You meow all the time. It does. She really does. All the time. Alright, so we're gonna kill off the Burning Fist Minotaur here, I think. Chan. It's funny, this is one of the few decks where I'm not really sad that we have eight lands on turn five. Or access to eight lands. Cool. Really good pickup just killing off the Minotaur there. And the lifelink is gonna be a pretty big game. Glad we held on to it. And next turn, play Razakus, right? I mean, it's a little bit tempting to get the Sifter Worm, but I think that's just incorrect. It gains us a lot of life, and it's a little bit... We can play that one turn earlier, but... Ooh, clean. Okay. Oh, the Earth turns this guy to the group battlefield. Oh. And he can give it haste if he had fame. Hmm. What is aggressive? I have to hope Xanderal Convergence is enough here. A little land's not great for us. Hey! <laughs> um, so let's see, we're up to six. Next turn we're at seven. Really want Sifter Worm. If we swing with this right now, we trade two of these cards, gain a bunch of life. We keep this back, keep these guys at bay. That might be better. If he had a removal spell, he probably would have used it. I think we're still getting Saturn conversions. I don't think we're in danger of dying from this point, and that's just a much better finisher. If we really were worried about the life, Sift Worm might be better, but... Okay, we get to live two turns and then long enough for Saturn conversions to get online. Can we do it? Let's see. Alright. I like him just swing then. That is what we're hoping for. No play. That is a surprise. I guess... What's that? I didn't even know we had that. <laughs> supernatural <laughs> stamina. That's the thing that comes back from the dead. Oh, but unfortunately yeah. the enchantment won't come back with it. Uh. Um, which is the big part of that. So we're just going to keep waiting. Or just have more lands than we've would ever hope to. But that's okay. Sand Convergence means a billion lands is not the worst. Okay, keeps crashing. I wonder what my opponent could have here. I know. Double red? I guess he's playing three colors. Maybe he's just mana screwed on double red? I don't know. Just got lots of removal and doesn't want to use it? That seems unlikely too. Well, it doesn't matter. We're slamming the Sand Convergence and we're never going to look back. Hopefully that's enough. I imagine it will be. 
Not in these colors. Counters are really only in blue. There's one white counter spell from way back when, but not in this set. And my phone just concedes the dream. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's pretty hard to beat it. Okay, well, I'll initiate plan. Don't get beaten down. Uh, do we want like Sandwell? We might. What? Yeah, what's well, one one? It trades for one one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, wow, now somebody well, he wants somebody in his deck. I wonder if we want to splash for Blazing Volley. We might. Um, because this, all sorts of this kills up. a bunch of one toughness things too. I see. Um, these guys maybe are a little bit ambitious then. Yeah, I kind of like that. I think. Out our one island. <laughs> Switch out our one island. Yeah. Add in one mountain. Alright, we got three sources for that Blazing Volley. I think we'll get good value out of that. Alright, here we go. This is for all the marbles, unless we lose this game. Then the next one will be for all the marbles. I want all the marbles. All of them. Except for the ones we lost last game. It was tragic. Okay, well this is not bad. I put Mulligan to six. Hey, look at that Blazing Volley. I know, and we got the Madeleth to cast it. This is great. Easy game, easy life. Yeah. Yo. That's true, we got the rodeo, although we have nothing we can use with it right now. But we'll get there. Oh no, Crop Captain's actually a card. Hard. Yeah. That is exactly what I was gonna say. <laughs> um how we don't sacrifice the rot beast. It works with Ambuscade. That blazing ball he doesn't kill off the crop captain. Awkward. That takes our hits. Okay, he's got all three colors. Oh dear. And none of these things die to our stuff. Uh oh. Let's play our Manolith. We may just get beaten down this game. We may be too slow. No. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe he this... won't draw any more land. He's swinging for a lot this turn. Six. Oh. Yeah. What happens if you don't play anything? Oof. Yeah, no follow up is good for us. That means we're maybe not just straight up dead. I'll, ooh, except we're. Better rot beast. Provides. Or provides. And keep up blazing volley. The next turn we'll play a land use ambuscade, assuming the rot beast drives. Well, I'm pretty sure we're just gonna trade it for the crop captain if he swings. Okay, our Sifton gains us a lot of life. That might be enough. We've drawn really well these matches. I'll be the first to say that. Because there's no bad card. That, that's that's really the honest truth. Oh dear. Um. Yes, we're dead. What? Because you can swing for eight with these. They exert for plus two plus oh. <sighs> oh, one turn short of the Sifter Worm. Is there anything we can do here? Shush! The Blazing Volley is good sometimes, just not against all these guys. He played so many one drops last game, or one toughness creatures rather. We're one away from the Sifter Worm. Anything we can find for one mana? Oh, we can! We run on the Sandwall. Oh no, Sandwall doesn't block the guys to menace. Dang it! Is there anything else? <laughs> I guess let's cycle this. Just see. Here's anything. Oh, Ruin Rat and Ambuscade. We live! <laughs> The dream! Oh, this is so stupid. Um, I think we just use it right now. We don't want anything interrupting this, right? It provides. It provides. The deck provides. <laughs> we'll play Sifter Worm next turn, and off that we'll hit Sandworm Conversions, and we'll win. <laughs> Always. Oh, uh, this is stupid. I wonder how many times I've said that today. A lot. Yeah. No! No! sure no! Nah, the DiGiorno's resolved! We got DiGiorno to we death? We got DiGiorno to death. What no. does that even do? It prevents all combat damage. What in yeah, the... Yeah, we're, we're just dead. You got no, this guy. No, no. What yeah. in the poop? Wait. Yep. What? No, no! Right, I'll let us die. It's good, it's good. Ah, uh, oh, man. Such a worm. We're so close. GG. Dang it, dang it, dang it. <laughs> Of all the things, of all the bloody tricks. Who even plays that card? Okay, I don't like Sandwall as much now. 
Something blazing always okay. I have faith. Although then what do we put in over that? Yeah. Um. Uh, mm-hmm. um, mm-hmm. yeah, okay. like cheap, yeah. Good. No, nah, he'd been pretty bad that game. It's okay. It's okay. We're gonna get him. We're gonna do it. Aggro Dex V. Um, I would like to play first. And is pretty good. Keep. <laughs> sand is pretty good. <laughs> hey, look at the sand wall. There's the sand wall. The turn one sand wall. He's gonna come out. He's gonna come out swinging. Yes. I can't believe it. Journal's resolve. What? Yeah. What is even that? What was that? Right. Get in there, sand wall. And he gets to turn into a three-three sand wall. Now who's pulling early punches? Throwing? Oh man, blur blades. Okay. Correct. Uh, what? What even just happened? It died horribly. Ooh, Grizzly Survivor's good though. Uh, this gives a creature a minus one minus one counter and then deals two damage to us. Pretty good against one toughness cards. One of those. Oh. Yes. <laughs> See, Blazing Volley will be good this game. Cool. Oh, wow, Rot Beast right on time. I knew he was there for us. Now he's playing aggressive. Play. I know, welcome to the beatdown. Now he's gonna play. Yeah, actually, Oketra's Monument kind of does that. Because he's gonna play, like, a spell and he's gonna get a free creature. This gives him a free creature every time he plays it. Oh, Ketra, I thought you were on our side. No, she died in our packs, remember? Oh, oh open fire. I'm not that sad about it, actually. That works out okay. But you killed our Land. beast. Yeah. Well, actually, that's good, too. Alright, punch. Yeah, but he didn't play a, a creature spell that threatens us. The longer the game goes, the better for us. So if he just wants to kill off all of our threats, we're cool with that. And actually, we swing for 10 next turn if we wanted to cycle the raid. Although, I don't know if that's in the cards. We could. Yeah. Thing. What we got here? Pick lands. Um, so we could Razaketh's right just for a land or like a Manolith. Make sure we play the Sifter Worm on time. Okay. Um, or we could go get Sandal Convergence, which is our late game inevitability. Um, I don't know if we want to swing here. If we swing, we get my opponent pretty low, but does I don't even know if his life matters. Our life matters a lot. Um, <laughs> wow, this is a kind of a philosophical argument, isn't it? Okay. Get. I honestly, splashing for like a random kill spell, the Sifter Worm's still pretty good. I kind of just want to be able to play this for sure. That seems bad. That seems good, right? Let's just get our get our mouth. Okay. Play that right on time. Play the sandworm next turn. Hmm. The problem is if we get the convergence, we just like don't draw lands. But if we don't draw lands, I guess we're drawing spells. And then spells interact pretty well with my opponent. Maybe sandworm convergence is just correct. Yeah, I think it is. Ugh. That was a. Tough turn. It's difficult. It's difficult for all involved. So if he exerts with the scrapper, do we trade here? He might. He may not. He might be afraid that we have a random cycler, in which case it's really bad for him. Eh, medium bad. He can still trade with this survivor. Um, I think we're just gonna take it. Or this keeps back the rest of his board still pretty well. We're greedy. We were hoping for a land. We yeah. find the land, I think we get there, though. Blazing Volley's gonna be so good. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure you're not uh -oh. hoping for that? No. Devil Hunter is pretty good, actually. Oh, goodness. That causes us pretty fast. It only has Great. one card in hand. Land! Uh, we should have gotten the land, I think. Oh, this no. Um. Um, e 
even really play that because he just shoots it. Oh, it's so rough. I think we do though. It keeps the rest of them at bay a little bit longer. It is a one for one. Always gonna use a land, I'm sure. All right. We may be punished for my hubris. The problem is if he just has like a random kill spell for the Sifter Worm, then that's a lot worse. But it's probably still good enough. We gain a lot of life, get some cards out. My opponent's kind of low. Why not Blazing Molly? <laughs> I think that's the real goal. Imagine this is just getting shot. Yep. Ooh, he did pitch a Braid though. That is a real card. Interesting. I just used a Braid. One's deck looks pretty good. He's got a lot of removal. I guess maybe he's splashing for the javelin here. However you want to do it. Any way you want it, that's the way you kill him. Trade, which is okay. Um, oh, okay, this... No, because he doesn't have another spell. So he just... That's no different. And he still dies. Huh. I wonder why he used the Kimmel Fairy there. Okay, well, land, chant with me. Land. land, give it to me. Yeah, yeah I, think we're, I think we're in good shape now. It works pretty good. So I guess we just grab a land here, right? Probably not dying out of nowhere. Just want to make sure we hit it. Probably put the ambuscade underneath though. It's a nice way to remove stuff. Yes, survivors and actually mountains just better than survivors and fibers and cannon. Put that on bottom. That on top. Okay. And try not to die. That's the plan. Yeah, I don't know. I kind of like if my opponent's like splashing a random Hour of Glory or like Final Reward. It's, if the worm looks a little bit worse, but it may still have been correct. Swinging aggressively. You have to hope my opponent can't kill us from 10. All right, he just concedes the Sandworm Convergence. What? Hey, we went 2-1! Hey. We went 2-1! We that's, got it. That's so funny that everybody's just like, I'm out! Well, yeah, Sandworm Convergence. I've tried playing through it before. It's so hard. Huh. Okay, well, Woo! I think this is a pretty good pretty good run. I, um, I think 2-1 we're definitely pretty excited about. Got another Sandworm Convergence. We'll have to make a Sandworm Convergence deck at some point because <laughs> I've got like four of them, I think. Um, yeah, opening up First picking Citroen Romance and Sandworm Convergence were pretty good. They definitely uh, were the heart of the deck, but Manolith did pretty good work. Had a good number of five drops. Rather gets right. Being that second copy of Sandworm Convergence definitely helped us out a lot too. Pretty sure we drew that every game. Yeah, we drew it a lot. <laughs> like just had it. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, the deck was pretty sweet. I'm a little bit sad we lost that second matchup. Opponent just went a little bit bigger than we did, but. It was close. That, that game could have gone either way, too. I think he had some pretty good tools against us with the uh, yeah. the Milling Land, the Rivulet. Um, Gideon was instrumental in winning the second game. And then the Glory. Uh, I don't know. The Big Enchantment makes all my worms not awesome. It was pretty sad. Oh, and Lake Lane. Yeah, he had a lot of stuff that was good against our, our big game deck. But thanks for watching, everybody. I had a blast with the deck. Uh, Yay! Hopefully everybody else really enjoyed it as well. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Woo!